Hi everyone, I'm Shannon Gilmartin with Modern Cupping Therapy Education Company. I wanted to take an opportunity to address the acupuncture and Chinese medicine community because especially over the last few years, we have received many inquiries about exactly what we're teaching in the classroom and why an acupuncturist would want to come to one of our live classes, especially when the teachers are not acupuncturists themselves. So hopefully I will answer those questions and give you a little more information here today. Uh, before I do a little background about myself, I have been a massage therapist since 2000 and shortly thereafter I took one of my first continuing education courses which was cupping and it absolutely changed my life. You know, we all have different aches and pains and quite a interesting history perhaps of what our body has experienced. Cupping honestly changed me, changed how my body feels and so I was completely fascinated by that. And shortly thereafter, I became one of their educators. And ever since, I just continually do research and you know, years of clinical applications and practice and thousands of hours of using cups, I decided to actually open my own educational company because while I appreciate where I came from, the education was not as scientifically based as a practitioner like me would like. And cupping itself has had this kind of shroud of mystery for so many years of what makes it do what it does, what makes it so effective. And there are also many companies that kind of blur the lines of education and subject matter. So when I decided to create my own educational company, shortly thereafter, I was asked to write a book on the subject. And it shocks me to say that I did it. And it was one of the, my most favorite experiences of my life writing the book. And it's honestly, uh, I can't believe I say a, a bestseller. And one of my most flattering moments came when Ilke Chirali himself, the author of The Cupping Book, wrote me to say that it was one of the best books on the subject he has ever read beside his own. And I am so honored to have received that from him. So, now here we are, Modern Cupping Therapy Education Company. We teach internationally um, many, many years, and we teach any professionally licensed body worker who has the interest to use cupping. Now, we are only a live education company. We do not do online. And, you know, especially in the last few years, online has become a really great resource for so many people in many subjects, but cupping is just not one that can truly be grasped and understood online and not in the live classroom. Um, we're seeing a lot of dangerous applications and hearing horrendous results. And while it frustrates all of us in the, you know, wellness community, the whole, um, confusion about safe cupping applications, it also motivates us to continue to teach. So, you know, we're not the only cupping company. We never say we are. We have people that come from other classes and maybe their classes are teaching some pretty wild manners of using cups. And those people that come to our classroom leave with a grasp of safety that they didn't have before and they appreciate that or they're learning from a company who does not have a Chinese medicine background, but they're trying to teach the subject and that's not fair to the acupuncture community. Your schooling is in a medical science. It is years of education. We would never be so bold as to think we can teach you a subject without having gone to school for it ourselves. So we are not that company either. There are cupping companies whose teachers are acupuncturists and they teach an audience specifically with their material. So maybe you go take one of their classes. But what sets us apart is the way that we teach it, the methods, the techniques, the emphasis on safety and potentially changing how you've ever used cups in the past. We are approved for massage therapists through the NCBTMB and athletic trainers through the BOC as well as physical therapists on many state boards. There's not a federal control there anymore. However, we are the only cupping educational company whose total educational body, all of our teachers, are only massage therapists. Yet, 
we are approved by the NCCAOM and the California Board of Acupuncture to provide continuing education to the acupuncture and Chinese medicine community because of how we approach the subject. They have our curriculum, our course papers, they know all of our content. And, you know, hopefully that gives you a little bit of curiosity uh, and potentially encourages you to attend a class. Um, I've had the great honor uh, all of my career of meeting various body workers. While we're approved to give CEUs for some, I've taught doctors, chiropractors, you know, uh, estheticians, different body workers who want to use cups come to our classes because we have so much information to provide. We have up to nine days of curriculum to offer. We are building a few more classes right now. I am in the process of writing a few more books on the subject because of how we approach it. The results are extraordinary. So furthermore, acupuncturists, when you learn cupping in school, some of, over the years, I've experienced um, different cupping all over the world, fascinating all by itself, but lots of acupuncturists say they've either had a couple hours, maybe a couple days, maybe they've done intensive research and practice with cupping. And yet when I say cupping for scars, a lot of them pause. And with some of the traditional basic methods, you should. And yet in the book and in one of our scar tissue classes, we talk about using cups to affect scar tissue on a wholly different level. This example here is dramatic. It's a knee replacement surgery from close to the surgery and within a year after the surgery, how beautiful the results can be when you do cupping the way that we teach it. You know, cups are tools. Yes, there is a very long established history in the Chinese medicine community, but they are used around the world and in so many different cultures. And we teach you its dynamic potential, how to put the cup in your hand and maybe do something different than you've been doing for so long. You know, nothing pleases us more as teachers than when someone comes to the class and they do learn something new, even if they've been doing cupping for 10, 20, 30 years or they change what they've been doing and get better results. You know, there is so much to it. Our minimum class is two days, the fundamentals of modern cupping therapy. Um, lots of acupuncturists love our third day, the therapeutic cupping for lymph drainage, because you're learning to use cups to affect lymph movement, including the face and head. And that is extraordinary. Um, Perhaps our methods of assessment are different, right? Chinese medicine, you speak your own language, which is beautiful and different elemental applications, but we can have a conversation that we both understand. And we love to say that it's the same conversation, just different languages we may speak, and it's all about cupping. So I hope that answers a lot of your questions, entices you to consider coming and getting some continuing education credits in the live classroom. We have lots of classes coming up on our schedule. For more information, visit our website, moderncuppingtherapy.com. Feel free to email us, info at moderncuppingtherapy.com. I personally will be teaching at a very prestigious acupuncture college, college shortly. And we have classes all around the country, all around the world, and so much more coming up in the future. So um, I would even be so bold as to say, if you don't learn anything as an acupuncturist and Chinese medicine practitioner in the classroom with me, I'll give you your money back, honestly. And I say that perhaps my colleagues wouldn't do the same, but I'm sure they would because we teach the same material. We are so proud of what we do and every class excites us and every student leaves excited to use cupping the way that they learned it in our classroom. So. We hope to see you in the classroom and I thank you for your time. Take care.